Welcome to Red VTV, supported by A Star Recruitment once again for the 2020 season. And what a way to start the year! Uh, Louis McCarthy Scarsbrook celebrating 10 years as a Saint. Yeah, 10 years as a Saint. So yeah, 10 years uh, unbelievable, really. So uh, it's uh, it's one of them things where I uh, pinch myself uh, every morning, really. So uh, I'm doing a job that I like, and uh, I'm at a prestigious club of St Helens. Um. I said to you earlier on, we're going to ask you to plug your testimonial gig straight away <laughs> yeah, 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 because yeah. people aren't watching by the time we get to the end. So <laughs> what have you got planned for the year? Uh, well, obviously I've got the game Sunday. Uh, so uh, try and get down if you can and uh, cheer on the boys. Um, uh, and then uh, through the year, uh, I've got a ladies night on the uh, 7th of March, uh, a black tie dinner on the 21st and... Uh, events, more events coming through the year. So uh, just have a look at me, Facebook, uh, Instagram, all my socials. Uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll retweet yeah, them. Yeah, as well. yeah, and then uh, hopefully, yeah, people retweeting. Uh, just keep an eye on that, and it'll they, be updated uh, what's coming up soon. So now, first question I've got is, how did a, a London lad, Millwall fan, end up playing rugby league? Uh, just by a pure chance, really. So I went to school in. Um, uh, Lewisham uh, in South East, South East London. So I went, I went to school in there and uh, we had supply teachers in and out, really. It wasn't, wasn't the best of schools. Uh, but uh, one of our supply teachers was a northern fella called Mr Hogg. And uh, he said, you're not the smartest of kids. Uh, <laughs> you might as well go down and try rugby league. So uh, so four of us went down there and um, we got we got bitten by the rugby league. And Phil Jones, who, who then was at... Uh, London Broncos uh, took us under a wing, and then uh, and now I'm up here talking to Red V TV. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the the players you probably most admired when you started watching the game? Uh, but I always say this: it was probably Jamie Peacock. I think I always he was like the first time I looked at it. There's no one really, and Adrian Morley. They were the only ones that really had a. Who had a fight on the field? So that was that, 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 they were the ones that caught <laughs> the my eye, caught my eye straight away. Yeah. <laughs> so. Obviously, coming up from Harlequins, how did your move to Saints actually come about? Oh, uh, well, I was, I was up, up. The contract was up, uh, coming to the end of the contract, and uh, I got, I got, got an agent, uh, Ronnie, who, who sorted everything out, and uh, I went and met Eamon, uh, and just sat down, had a good conversation with him. Absolute, uh, it made me, he made me like fall in love with Saints. Told me about Saints. He said, uh, obviously. At that time, you didn't have a manager, so he was like, he said, "Don't worry about that." <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we really want you uh, and come up and all that. So I met him, and I just he just he's, he gave off such a good vibe, and he was he's, he's such an like, honest fella. He was he was honest with me, and I think that's what lured me in. So yeah. it was it was it was a it was a nice meeting. Yeah. Did you speak to anybody else up here? A couple of a couple of teams, yeah, a couple of teams didn't get good vibes off them. Oh, um, so it was <laughs> it was one of the ones where he gave me a good vibe, so it was alright. <laughs> <laughs> was it a culture shock, a bit from the big city down to sunny St Helens? No, yeah, no, it uh, it, it, it kind of was a bit of a culture shock. I'm not going to lie. I think I remember my first couple of weeks. Um, Getting to training, I was uh, bombing it down the road and all, like, like, like literally bombing it. And there's like no cars. I don't even know why I'm going. <laughs> don't even know why I'm going 60 mile an hour in a 30. I don't know why. But that's just the way of it's the way it is in London. You get there, you get there quick. But uh, and obviously getting recognised. I think in in uh, in weird places like Tesco and all that. People saying hello to you. And Kev gets that. Yeah, people know. <laughs> people know who you are. Yeah, yeah but at Aldi because I've not got. The <laughs> I know I'm at Aldi now as well, so it's all right. Uh, but no, it was like t Tesco where it was because we first moved to Newtonley Willows and it was just like... It was like and that's like bit, a different world yeah, altogether. Like, yeah, that, yeah that, that there and walking the dog and people were saying hello to you and saying, oh, well done or saying you're rubbish. So it, was, it was always nice. Um, what have you grown to love about the town in your time up here? I admit, I've said it from day one. I said, literally, you can say hello to people and like people are friendly as anything because... I go down south and my brother-in-law, Tucker, says to me, do we, do we go, go and walk the dog to someone I walk by? And I go, all right, like that. And he goes, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going, oh, oh yeah, you don't do, we don't do that, Danny, do we? So that's, that's, I think that's the northern man in me yeah, that's coming out. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's coming out. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it, the things I love about it, it's, just, it's green, people are friendly, and it's just, 
it's where my kids were born and it's, it's, it's a different way of life up here. I think it is, it's just a different way of life and I think we, I, I've grown to love it and the wife's grown to love it. Yeah, so, yeah. Now, when you do go back down and see your family, what words have you picked up which you inadvertently <laughs> say down there? Can I swear on you or not? Is it, is it, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. We've, we've got so, like all smudge. You come from band for swearing. Know, that's, that's all right. Yeah, no, well, on, uh, well I, I do swear in Northern. But I, I don't know what it is. I just go fuck. Like, I, I don't know why. <laughs> but then I go. I, I crick myself down south and I go fuck. So, so, I, so I, know, I know what I'm doing then. But uh, no words. Words. I don't. Uh, no, it's just swearing. Really, I swear in Northern. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody did suggest that when we do this video, we just put the sound of a car going over the top of it. <laughs> just a beeping. Just, just a beep. A beep. beep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But. I'm trying to be on best behaviour, I'm pinching myself. So. <laughs> but now you said I can swear, it's good all, right, yeah. it's all along. Um, have you got any more, or any ambitions that you've got left to achieve in the game? Yeah, no, I think I have. I think, uh, I think, <laughs> it's just bad. winning the Challenge Cup, I think, yeah. that'll be, that'll be the, the icing on the cake, I think. I think, there's not too many years left in me. Uh, to to do that, I think because it's, it's it's the clubs that it's it's the good clubs that are going to be there or thereabouts at the end of the season. So if I can if I can win a Challenge Cup, I think that'll be yeah. the the icing on the cake. Yeah, because I've won two grand finals now. I've represented my country and my heritage. Uh, so it's it's it, it's been an honour doing that. But play, obviously playing ten years is amazing at yeah, one yeah. club as well. So. That that was that's nice as well, but no Challenge Cup will be it. especially obviously Wembley, yeah. home of football. And I've always grown up with football, so yeah, yeah. that's it. So a nice World Club Challenge, Super League Grand yeah. Final, Challenge Cup, the win. treble. Yeah, that, easy. That'd be, that'd be all right. Easy, for your yeah, testimonial yeah, no. year, could do it? that. Yeah, yeah. that would be really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that would be really nice. I said that. I said yeah. We start off with a nice uh, medal with the uh, with the World Cup Challenge, and then go on and win the rest. Yeah, that's a lovely yeah, testimonial. Yeah, right, so yeah. yeah, they might give me another one yeah, like next year, do. so we do it again. <laughs> Now, you say you've not got many years left in the game. You're a level three qualified plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Have you practised recently? <laughs> <laughs> I, ju I, jump on, I jump on with a fella called Stu Roberts, and uh, who's a plumber. He's a dodgy plumber, don't get him. But no, no, no <laughs> he's a great lad, and he, he knows his stuff. And he's, he, uh, he's, um, he always rings me up and goes, are you ever going to come back and work? And I'm like, yeah, 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 literally, yeah. <laughs> But it's like we've had the twins. We've got well, keep having kids for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, I, I, yeah. I, I know someone can help us. <laughs> I'll be with that. Uh, and I need to. I do need to get back out of him because the only thing that's stopping me is my gas, and he keeps ringing me up saying you need to get your gas. You need to get your gas. So I need to get back on with him because he's a great lad and they've got some good stuff. So what does the future hold for you when you retire? Are you? Could you see yourself as a coach, or is plumbing your future? Uh, <laughs> there's no way I can be a coach. I don't think anyone will listen to me. No, there's no way. Uh, I don't think I could do with the stress. Uh, first of all, um, I, I, I'm not that inclined of coaching. I don't. I don't see me as a coach. I could probably see me as a like a an entertainment manager there or yeah. thereabouts. Yeah. Have you got a name for your plumbing? Uh, <laughs> do you know what I have? But, you know, it's, I can't say it on here, it's too bad, no. <laughs> uh, I've come up with one. <laughs> McCarthy Scarsbrook Plumbing Services. Bloody, go, Dad. I can fix you, Louis. <laughs> oh, oh, what a saying. There you go. I'm, I'm literally, much, much better than mine. <laughs> Is that what you've been doing all day? <laughs> all day. <laughs> I thought there's got to be a pun somewhere. <laughs> right, last of all, your testimonial jerseys. Uh, what yeah. are you doing with them? Uh, well, they will be, well, the boys, the boys who uh, will warm up in them. Uh, and then uh, taken off them, washed, <laughs> and then they'll be auctioned. So, what happens if you don't want it washed? Uh, what, what do you mean if you don't want it washed? Oh no, there's, it a, there's a trade for that. Oh, it, goes, it, goes, it goes all mouldy and all that. But I know, yeah, probably can get them more money if they're nice and dirty and sweaty. There's certain certain websites where you need to stay off. But no, they'll be on the. Uh, I think Saints are going to auction for me, so like, you can bid on your player. Uh, and it'll be signed by that player, and uh, it's, uh, there's, there's, only, there's only a certain amount made. So, uh, I believe you've got some top sponsors. On I've got that some absolutely Jersey top sponsors. Well. Uh, talking of one, A Star uh, are <laughs> on the back. So thanks to them for for doing a sponsor there. Uh, and obviously I've got uh, Macau um, Hotel Leisure on the front. Uh, I've got G G uh, Skips on there. I've got loads. I've got load, loads of sponsors, and they've they've been amazing. And uh, I thank them for for sponsoring me and and being on my shirt. 
but they will be available on the on the Saints website when when the, the game's over and done. So hopefully, yeah. right, ten minutes. I'm not a microphone in one hand and I'm sticking the other. My arms are killing me. It's easier carrying the kids. Right, uh, best of luck, Louis. Thank your you testimonial year. Um, if you could give one message to the Saints fans before you go, apart from turn up on Sunday, <laughs> yeah, I <literally> would <laughs> beat you to it. What would it be? I don't know. Just keep keep supporting us home and away because uh, you've been fantastic all last year. So if we go on a good run again, then just keep keep your support behind us. Thank you very much. Nice Best one. of luck for the year. Cheers, brother. Thank you. Cheers.